Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, we will have a look at a Legacy Sport magazine. Uh, this version is single stack uh, in 223 or 204. Uh, we have here 223 uh, ammunition in it that we see how that uh, looks. Uh, it's basically a magazine uh, mainly used for bolt action rifles. Uh, the build quality is, uh, I would say, typical uh, 2023. Uh, it's uh, basically polymer injection molded parts. Uh, the follower as well with a metal spring in it. And uh, it looks pretty good. The, the quality makes a good impression. The feet lips and all that, uh, that should work pretty well. Uh, you get that in a higher capacity too. Different uh, calibers, different models. That's just an example of a, a 223-204. Uh, what is interesting is that that is uh, a little bit uh, double stacking on the bottom. Uh, that is about the size. It's not true double stack magazine like we're gonna look at with this one. But uh, it has a bit more spread there, which uh, leads to a, a shorter uh, all overall length because uh, of the 10 round capacity. And we have, of course, just a single feed that is important for most bolt action rifles. Uh, technically, they have problems, uh, unfortunately, problems to uh, feed with a double stack magazine like we see it here on the left uh, where uh, one cartridge feeds from the right then the next feeds from the left and so on uh, so the the single uh, the this magazine here just feeds from a single position always the same so you don't have the trouble with the bolt uh, picking up uh, left or right and you don't have the trouble with the feed ramp uh, to be in need of, to be wider uh, for feeding uh, from the right and the left side so it all goes straight in uh, basically like that always was by bolt action rifle that you uh, uh, by usual constructions usual designs that you have uh, just a, a feeding uh, from one side and finish uh, especially by civilian uh, hunting rifles and all that. Uh, there are some uh, bolt action designs that use double stack magazine. In this case uh, just a regular R ver variation. But uh, again it's more uh, uneasy to feed re reliably and uh, accurately. So that is the way to go. Uh, unfortunately, such uh, magazines are not that common, uh, at least not outside uh, the USA. And uh, there are not that many companies that make sty this style of, of magazine so that you could uh, select more different options. Uh, say, if you would not like to have a polymer feed lip design, that you could get a, a design with a metal feed lip and all that. But uh, all in all, for uh, usual use uh, such such a design such a quality should work relative well it's also easy to disassemble you simply press the button and slide off the the base plate and then you can clean it uh, because everything except the spring is polymer you can uh, use a good oil to uh, brush it out say with a with all the uh, tooth brush and uh, clean it and uh, that is easy to do. Uh, one last point is the locking part here is uh, unfortunately polymer as well. So uh, that next to the feed lip is the locking part. Uh, often a bit of problem that you uh, not have a, a basically the uh, at least a part of it in a metal where it uh, locks and give you more wear resistance. Uh, that's that's another point to consider. But uh, that much about the 223 magazine from Legacy Sports.